Hello everyone, welcome to the video. In this video, we're going to go over junction objects. A junction object in Salesforce establishes a many-to-many -many relationship. The junction object acts as a middleman between the preceding objects, whether the two objects are custom or standard. What is necessary is to use either a lookup or a master detail relationship. In many cases, a master detail relationship is used, but it's not mandatory unless you would like to have the the characteristics of the parent-child uh, relationship, such as the security and uh, roll-up summary fields and such. But that is totally up to you, and uh, how are you going to tailor it into your org? The purpose of this junction object is to offer flexibility when relating records from multiple parent records to multiple child records. Now let's go through an example. I have a schema builder here. Right here is the product object and the opportunity object. In between is a junction object, which is the opportunity line item. Now just the gist of this is that one opportunity could have many products and one product could have can be associated with many opportunities, therefore a many to many relationship. So the product is one to many to the opportunity line item and the opportunity is a one to many with the opportunity line item. So it is a many to many relationship. In a nutshell, really, uh, Multiple opportunities can be associated with multiple products and multiple products can be associated with multiple opportunities. And right here, as you can see, it's not a master detail relationship with opportunities and products. It's a lookup, which is totally fine. The advantages of a junction object is, you know, better reporting on related records, work around through complex scenarios, is used to, for scalability, to have data organized in an appropriate manner also coincides with better data management. Obviously, it's it's good to see what's related to what. So I prepared an example here. I have contact, maintenance request, and property, something custom. I decided to use contact as tenant, and I created a custom object called property, just to store uh, property records, whether they are apartment, triplexes, duplexes, single family homes, and such. And I have a junction object here, which is also a custom object. It is a uh, maintenance request custom object. And how I establish these uh, connections, right? So I use master detail relationship. Again, you can use lookup. There's no problem with that. In common cases, people use master detail. So pretty much when you create the uh, connections, the relations, make sure you do it from the junction object. So let's run through the scenario. So say you work uh, in real estate, you own multiple properties and you rent them out to uh, tenants. And as you can see, uh, you know, you know, many tenants could be in many properties and many properties could have many tenants. You know, apartment building could have like so many people in there. A triplex could have so many people in there in each unit. But the purpose of this uh, is that, you know, a tenant could place a request for maintenance. Maybe they have a problem with the toilet, maybe something wrong with plumbing. Maybe something's wrong with electric and such. Maybe one property has, uh, or one unit has three areas that needs fixing. So a tenant could just, you know, make those requests and uh, it'd be associated with the uh, property and such. And, you know, one property could have like multiple requests and such. You know, apartment building could have like, like five, five requests so this is the uh, many to many relationship between these. All right, so I do have a sample report to look over. You can see the report type right here is properties with maintenance requests and contacts. So you can see the relation right here. And here are the uh, fields. So we have the uh, Birch triplex. There's three requests. And you can see there's the units and such priority level, and we see a pest control, a plumbing issue. You know, these are records in the maintenance requests uh, object. Now, as you can see, uh, two maintenance requests from Emily. Now let's go to one of those records. So right here is the property name, Elm Apartments, unit 1A, apartment type, or property type, apartment. Here's the property address. And you can see right here, this one area has multiple requests. Has multiple requests. 
specifically for this uh, unit and such. Let's click here. Contact is Emily Anderson and the property is Elm Apartments. And that's all I wanted to show you today. Please be on the lookout for the description for more information, details, and resources. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, I'll catch you in the next one.